Hey guys, in this video I'm going to be telling you how to jailbreak HyperTouch 2nd gen on firmware 3.0. This does work with the 1st generation iPod Touch and also the iPhone 1st gen and 2nd gen. But uh, the main hype is around the 2nd gen, so this is how to do it. Um, down first, you have to download the two files in the link description to the right. One is the 3.0 firmware. You'll have a whole, There will be a whole list of the firmwares to get. The next one will be Red Snow for Mac and um, it also be a PC one as well. So once you've done that, you're going to open up the zip file, then the folder, and you want to open up the redsnow.app. Open that up, and then it says, uh, it says uh, select the corresponding IPSW for your current firmware. So then you click browse, go to the firmware you just downloaded, and then click OK. While it's processing, I'm just going to say, uh, this does not work with the 3G, 3GS, yeah, just those two it doesn't work with. This is not show that is unjailbroken. It's not jailbroken. There you go guys, it's not jailbroken at all. No CDR, no IC, no SP settings, nothing. Uh, now it's done this, it says IPSW successfully identified, click next, and it says preparing jailbreak data, this will be where it normally downloads all the data, but I've already done that, and it says install Cydia, okay, and then click next, it says please make sure device is both off and plugged in, so it says if it's not off, plug the device into the computer first, here is my cable, here is my iPod, plug it in, then turn it off. Hold it down for three seconds, power button, then swipe to power off. And then wait until it's turned off. For some reason it takes a while to turn off when I have it plugged in. But it will turn off eventually. Hang on, while it's doing this I'll get my X10. So I put it on a stand. There you go. Okay, now it is off. Now it's off, it says, um, now it's all done, click next on the thing, and then so you want to hold down the power button for three seconds, one, two, three, now hold down the home button as well, so I put it into DFU mode loads of times, I just didn't know what I was doing, and now let go of the power button and keep holding the home button uh, for like 25 seconds remaining. It gets kind of uh, boring holding the home button. Now it's done, waiting for a reboot, perform an initial exploit. Uploading second stage, waiting for reboot, Up, waiting for reboot again. Uploading image, downloading jailbreak data, as you can see. I don't know if you can see, because I can't see the web, what's the webcam seeing. So hopefully you can see this, if you can't, sorry guys. And then it says uploading RAM disk, which I don't have a clue what that's doing. But that was one of the things it was downloading earlier, I think. If I remember. So let it load. I might skip this part if I'm going to edit it, which I probably will. still says download and jailbreak data, so let it do its stuff. I'm going to be reading my tweets. Pretty cool. Still uploading RAM disk, so you just gotta be patient. This does take quite a while. Okay, now it's uploading the kernel. So once again, let it load. <laughs> I 
and now it's rebooting and then it says done so now click you can click finish and hopefully your iPod will now reboot Okay, so as you can see, it's now asking me for my password, so... Okay, my password is now typed in, and as you can see, I now have Cydia. So there you go guys, that's how to jailbreak 3.0 firmware iPodTouch. Hope it helps, guys. Quite rate, subscribe. See ya. I did click stop.